I thought I'd introduce my latest purchase using the medium of video. It's a Celestron Nexstar 5SE uh, Schmidt Cassegrain 5-inch uh, reflecting telescope. Uh, as you can see, it comes on a fine tripod. Uh, the point about the Schmidt Cassegrain design is that there's a corrector plate on the front end, which is what you can see here. Um, light comes through the corrector plate and uh, bounces off the mirror, primary mirror, which is at the back end of the optical tube here. It then reflects from another uh, convex mirror, which is behind this point here, before passing out the back of the telescope, which is here and then being reflected by this uh, prism into the eyepiece here. And you do focusing using this knob at the bottom here. Um, as well as the telescope, oops, I also have a finder scope here. This isn't a telescope at all actually, it's uh, what the uh, Celestron call a star pointer. And it's a piece of glass uh, which has a um, uh, LED spot projected into the middle of it and so you look through it at your target and place the uh, spot accordingly. And in addition to the uh, finder scope I also have this SLR piggyback mount. So in the centre there there's a tripod thread and it's mounted underneath the finder scope so you can see that you take the finder scope off, put the uh, piggyback mount on and then put the finder scope back on. What else have we got here? Uh, <clears throat> the mount itself is a Altazimuthal mount, so it's got two degrees of freedom. It will rotate this way, and it will also tilt the telescope backwards and forwards this way. It will do this rather gracefully using this hand control. So, there we go. That's us going backwards and forwards. I'm just wondering whether I can get far enough back to see the up and down there. Right there. Oops. So in addition to the straightforward Altazimuthal, there's also an equatorial wedge. So this is the scale on the equatorial wedge here. So this can slide up and down and it tilts the whole platform backwards and forwards like this. And the idea is that you aim the face of the platform at Polaris, which means the axis of that rotation is uh, uh, the same as the axis of the Earth's rotation. So you can take a fix on something using the telescope and then track it round by rotating that platform. Um, I have to say the alignment of that looks like it might be entertaining. I uh, don't think I've uh, missed anything there. And peer down the ooh, peer down the tube there. I've already taken a photograph using this. So um, to take photographs, piggy mount allows you to use the telescope basically as a guide. So you don't view through the telescope at all. But you can use the uh, telescope as essentially a big lens using this adapter. So whoops, it's that way around. So the silvery bit there slots into here, you take this out, and the, uh, the ring here fits into the lens mount on a, a Canon SLR in my case. Okay, I think that completes the tour. So, so far I have a picture of the sun and that's it.